welcome to the sixth edition of Goa Arts and Literature Festival here at International Centre Goa. Today with us we have Mr. Sovindra who is going to speak about his new book, The Adivasi That Will Not Dance. Welcome sir. Thank you so much Satlana. Uh, we'll start it off with a few basic questions. Uh, okay, okay uh, you received your award, the Yuva Sahitya Award this yeah. year. Sahitya Academy Yuva Puraskar, yes. Okay, and uh, it must have been a great achievement uh, for you. It and especially since it's your first publication, it's your first book. I'm taking it cool. <laughs> You're taking it Thanks cool. Fully. Okay, so how did this book come about? Uh, did you get inspiration from somewhere uh, or something? Uh, in the acknowledgments page of my book, I've mentioned that uh, this book has, uh, you know, it has been inspired by an incident, my incident which took place in my village. So this incident was in my mind for quite a lot of time. Okay. In fact, um, longer part of my life. And in 2011, I thought that maybe I should write it down. And so I took some time and I wrote this book. And how long did it take you to compile the whole? Five months. Five months. Five months, yes. So that was quite easy. And did you find a publisher soon enough? Um, I was lucky, I think, in that way. Because uh, in 2011, I completed my book. Mm -hmm. And during 11 and 2011 and beginning of 2012, I did the editing. OK. And, uh, uh, you know, correction of draft. And uh, from March 2012, I started submitting to publishers and agents. Okay. And then May, I received this acceptance from LF Book Company that they would publish my book. Okay, that's really nice. And uh, so how did you actually come about in, into the field of writing, especially since you told me that your original background is from the field of medicine? Yes. Um, I was in school when my first story was published. I was 15 years old, okay. standard 10 I was <laughs> in. <laughs> and it was a short story which was published in the Asian Age newspaper. They, were, they used to have a column in it, actually an entire page called the School Age, where they used to accept contributions from school students. So I sent in my shor short story then. It was published, and I was very happy. But I never really thought that I would actually write. I used to, you know, as a child, I, when I was 7, 8, 9 years old, I used to draw <laughs> pictures on those full scape white sheets, <laughs> rewrite fairy tales on my own, Cinderella and Little Red Riding Hood and all. And uh, I used to make my own pictures and I staple the pages together. I used to draw the barcodes on the <laughs> <laughs> what was supposed to be the <laughs> back cover of the book. And that was how I, you know, prepared my first books. But I never really consciously thought about writing. After school, of course, my writing took a back seat for a while, but in 2000. I began writing stories again, mm -hmm. and that is how so that is continues. Continue. Yes, continued. Okay, and uh, so did you actually have any inspiration to get into the field, especially since you were completely mm -hmm. devoted to another profession? Uh, uh, writers never inspired me, the works inspired me. I cannot name any particular person. Uh, books, yes, they inspired me. Like I told you about this book, The Color Purple by Alice Walker. But uh, when I decided that I may be able to write a book. Uh, there was no book or no story I could actually look up to as a role model. So I was completely on my own. I experimented okay. with my language. And, and did you find it difficult being uh, being brought up and even uh, currently staying in the state of Jharkhand no, to no, find no. opportunities? No, no, no. Had I not stayed in the state of Jharkhand, perhaps my books would have never been born. Yeah. Okay, and so in both your books, the uh, ailment of uh, Rupi Baski yes, and mysterious your ailment the of Rupi mysterious Baske. ailment of Rupi Baski <laughs> yes. and even the current book, you focus especially on the Santal community. Um, yes, uh, yes. So is there a special uh, special reason for it? or mm, The only reason is because I belong to this community. See, when I wrote The Mysterious Ailment of Rupi Baski, it was supposed to be a, you know, a, a, a simple story of a simple family in a village, a Santal village. Um, while I was working with my publisher, my editor, I was, uh, you know, we were putting final touches to the book. We brought in elements from the history of Jharkhand to it in the background. But ultimately, it's not about, you know, it's uh, it's not really about uh, the community. It is more about the uh, family, the family, uh, the, family the woman, uh, Rupi Baske, who has this mysterious ailment and how she fights it. Okay. So there was absolutely no intention to bring in any politics or any uh, kind of a representation of a particular community. Mm -hmm. So I never think that I'm going to write for this community. I'm, I'm writing because that is the only thing I know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was the story of the first book. With my uh, second story, uh, so sorry, my second book, The Adivas Will Not Dance, it, uh, yes, it uh, contains stories which I, uh, I wrote way back in 2002 and 2005 and all. 
uh, and which have been published in a compilation now. Uh, but uh, the stories here, they have also been influenced by uh, my job, the place where I'm staying. So you can see that I have matured a bit with uh, the Adivasi will not dance. But ultimately, I don't wish to actually represent someone or be a voice or something. I just want to tell those stories. Okay. That's it. And so being a young writer yourself, mm -hmm. and uh, we can see the change in the youth these days. Mm -hmm. They are deviating from the path of actually reading, and mm -hmm. they are interested in other fields, maybe mm -hmm. visuals or mm -hmm. audio. Mm -hmm. What do you have to say about this change in the scene, especially in the country? Mm, I do not, I disagree with the use of the word deviation, because <laughs> I really do not believe in telling a person what he or she, she should do, should do what, an, what a person should do. A person should follow his own uh, ambitions, his own dreams. Okay, because uh, you see, a person follows, um, like you said, that uh, uh, young people are not reading, they are moving towards, uh, what you said, uh, is it uh, visual yeah, arts and, and yes, audio. visuals and then audio. So maybe uh, they have been convinced that visual and audio are more effective, more powerful. That is why they have taken over that mm -hmm. person. Maybe reading is, uh, or writing is not that powerful. Mm -hmm. So there should be something reading and writing that should actually convince that person that, look, reading and writing is good. So, so you're uh, saying that it's not the people, but the work that does not exist to attract them towards mm, it. Yeah, the work. I mean, a person should a person should have a reason that mm -hmm. why I should pick up reading and writing. Wha uh, why not visuals and audio? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the person should be free to choose. Okay, and so uh, since this is your first year at mm. uh, Goa Art and Literature mm. Festival, mm. do you have any expectations in mind? Uh, what do you look for? I do not have any expectations in mind. I have <laughs> come absolutely khali heart to have fun <laughs> at the festival. My book launches tomorrow at 10.45 a.m. So I expect to reach out to a readership uh -huh. and mm -hmm. just that much and no expectations at all. And so tell us a little more about your book, uh, The Adivasi That Will Not Dance. Mm, uh, it is a collection of 10 short stories. Uh -huh. Uh, these uh, stories I wrote for about you know more than a decade. The first one, uh, the oldest one in this uh, collection was written in 2002, although it was published in 2007. So 2002 to 2015 is like how many years? 12, 13, 14, 15, or almost 13 years. Okay, and uh, there were more stories in it, but uh, then we decided when I was working with my editor, we decided that no, the rest of the stories were not needed. These are powerful enough, and. Uh, Yes, that is how we brought together stories. We did a lot of changes, like the title story, The Adivas Will Not Dance. It was first published in an online journal called uh, Dholi Review, which is published from Bhuvaneshwar. Okay. So when it was published, it was a very kind of a short piece, you know, a piece which you could read on your smartphone or tablet. But, <laughs> but the version <laughs> which is there in the book now, it is like, it's a, yeah, it's ex extended. It's, it, it almost seems like a rant, but <laughs> it's a <laughs> good rant, hopefully. So that's the story behind this. So we wish you all the best for your thank new you. book. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for being here for the interview. Thank you. That was Mr. Sovendra with us at the sixth edition of Goa Arts and Literature Festival here at International Centre Goa. Thank you.